Hello, Jen Tozer, your portfolio manager here. I was just speaking about why you should set goals, and I thought I should follow it up with, how do you invest your money for some of those goals? What's a good strategy? So the strategy I explained or described in my previous video, which was, was actually where I saved $100 a month, that was actually called dollar cost averaging. That may not be what works the best for you, especially if you're young and you're starting out. So let's talk about saving just for savings sake, so you have some emergency money. When you're working and you're young, and you're only working for four months and then you've got to live off that for eight, it might be kind of difficult to save money, but if you can manage it, you want to start with something conservative. And you want it to be conservative because chances are pretty high you're going to come back to that money. So my vision is that you're probably saving little lump sums while you're working with the expectation of potentially spending that money over the next eight months. What's conservative? Do you know what, if they're gonna give you away 5% on GICs today, nothing wrong with that. Money market funds that have daily liquidity are also in the same ballpark. And if you know that you're a really, really good saver and that you probably won't spend it all, it's time to start dipping your toe into you know, original investments like Canadian balanced funds. The next thing you're gonna save for is probably your house. When you're saving for your house, it's a little bit trickier because your time horizon is unknown. So what I would say is considering that you're probably going to be between about 28 and 32 when you buy your first house, that gives you an idea of your time horizon for investment. So you don't want to be in cash and you don't want to be in GICs. You want to be in something that's going to give you some growth. So you're going to start with the base of your portfolio, which could be, because I'm assuming you're starting at zero, which would be a balanced fund, and you're going to branch out from there. The next large investment that you're going to save for is going to be your retirement. When you're saving for your retirement, the first place you'll probably start is with some type of stock savings plan or defined contribution plan at your workplace. What that means is that you're saving money from your paycheck and the firm that you work for has given you a selection of investments. Typically, there would be some mutual funds, some exchange traded funds, and potentially some stock. It's a great place to start, but I'm gonna tell you to improve your odds. You may not know this, but studies have been done and you will have likely twice the wealth if you engage someone like myself who is a professional portfolio manager. So, what do you do now to structure your portfolio for your retirement? Because this is probably going to be your largest pool of money. Get some expert advice know why you're doing it, and find someone who you can work with who you're comfortable asking questions to. I hope that's helpful. Please call us if you have any questions and have a great day.